All right. I've um, been uh, meeting with a couple people on uh, cleaning up files to send base drawings uh, as backgrounds. Um, we're looking specifically at site plans. Uh, so this is a live site plan from MarketCAD uh, on a project I'm working on. If I select everything here, uh, Control-Alt-T gives me the selection set. And you can see here that I've got, uh, even in this 2D view because of the contours and other things, drafting elements, I've got 2,700 lines, all these other, there's uh, 66 walls uh, as part of that site plan. Um, so I want to clean this up. Um, now obviously I can filter on and off some layers and do some cleanup that way, um, but I found one of the most effective ways to clean up a site plan or any drawing bases that you're saving out, even if it's floor plans to a structural engineer for example. Uh, obviously you can go to uh, the view menu and set up the layers and, and uh, graphic overrides and all of that in this view, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this stuff to the clipboard, command C. I'm going to come into my worksheets here and say new um, and call this site plan base. Uh, so now if I paste just control V or command V, it uh, takes a couple of seconds because it's all um, converting that to lines and fills. Uh, and I'm going to say save uh, in the original location so that way the XYZ coordinates um, are all matching their original position. Uh, you will notice that the, the view is skewed. I did have the, the uh, other site rotated for the sheet because the building's orthogonal to the model, but that's um, just sort of an aside. So once this is done translating, converting to lines and fills, all of those walls and 3D elements are going to be lines and fills. So we could double check um, what would be saved out here. Again, Control-Alt-T. And here you can see in the lines I'm up to 8,000 lines, 1,100 fills. Um, it basically just uh, compounds the issue of the lines and fills, but this is sort of a preview of uh, what the file would save out like. Um, the, one of the cool things about this is I can then go in here and say, oh yeah, I, they don't need this and they don't need this stuff, and I can basically start purging this stuff out, um, and it's disconnected from, um, uh, from the actual document because it's in its own thing. Uh, if I need to update this, I literally just delete everything in here and copy paste back from the other view. Um, now what this gets me is the ability to grab everything here. Well, let me zoom in on some walls here and that will illustrate exactly why this happens. So when you have a wall meeting another wall or something like that, you don't get one fill here at these junctions. Uh, it might be more obvious if I come into a standard corner here. You would expect this fill, this fill. It's, it's not all clean. You get all of these extra fills. Um, so what I can do is I just use the eyedrop to grab the fills and then I can go just to kind of give you an idea. So there's 1100 fills here selected. If I go to edit, reshape, and fill consolidation, uh, merge fills, it might take a few minutes at most to process this. Um, and there we go. So now if I look at the number of fills, I'm down to 500 fills. Uh, sometimes you can run that more, multiple times. Um, uh, sometimes that's just the best it can do. You can see I've got some structure that's sort of bisecting some of these walls. Um, but I can also come back in here and, and like I said, I can do a bunch of cleanup and just really quickly visually clean this up um, for, the, uh, for the consultant that's going to. Whether it's deleting stuff, whether it's adding notes, whatever it is, uh, it's pretty quick and easy to clean that up. Uh, and then I can grab all of my lines, uh, which are sort of the next big culprit. And I can go to file, or sorry, edit reshape and uh, line work consolidation. Um, and here you have one of the, the only options you need to pay attention to here is uh, we don't typically want to convert our polylines uh, into lines. So we're going to uncheck that. But otherwise we leave this one unchecked and we just make sure that every single one of these other boxes is checked because it's going to merge and consolidate all overlapping or budding lines. Uh, so here you can see it's deleted and uh, merged uh, several thousand lines. Um, so now I have a, a lot cleaner floor plan to save from. Um, so it does look like, oh, you know what, it's probably a display order. I bet if I grab this thing, yep, because it merged. Um, fills. So this is also something you kind of need to keep an eye out for. Uh, and we can fix this by going into our graphic overrides. And if I have a uh, new filter, DWG export, 
right? I can come in and say, let's create a rule. Um, um, we'll just say new. Uh, that all the background fills are going to be empty. And for that, we're just going to say, uh, we're going to use the uh, should be an empty fill. Um, we'll just use this one. Uh, and then we're going to set the background pen to transparent. That's going to ensure that um, uh, that the uh, the backgrounds for these don't mask out because part of what ARCHICAD to DWG, part of the issue is that uh, it generates oftentimes duplicate um, fills, one for the foreground pattern, one for the background masking. Um, so we'll just apply that to this view and now we get all of our fills are going to have a transparent background. Uh, even if they had a foreground pen, uh, that should be uh, exported still um, since we're only overriding the back. Well, I guess we overrode the fill type, but at the very least, um, you should turn the, the background pen for all fill types, cover fills, drafting fills, cut fills, to be transparent. Um, now all you have to do, if, if there's parts that you want to save out, you can do a marquee and save the marquee. Otherwise, you just do a file save as. Um, I always save to the desktop and just relocate from there and I'm going to set the format to DWG Translator for further editing the translators are actually stored on your computer on your applications folder They're not specific to the project. They're specific to your computer. So we want to check a couple of things um, In the DWG translator the first is we want to make sure we're saving to model space um, Make sure that you're not saving to like ARCHICAD 2018 um, just in case your your uh, consultant's using an older version, almost everybody I've ever worked with in the last few years is using ARCHICAD 2004 or newer. So we'll just start with that, uh, and then under attributes, there's a few things here. Um, under methods, you can save um, uh, layers um, by the ARCHICAD layers, and that's going to reduce or eliminate the number of uh, sort of garbage layers that the consultant gets. Um, if, if you're familiar with how AutoCAD uses layers, that makes sense. If not, basically, if you have three different pens making up your wall, you get a separate wall layer for each one of those pens. If you have three pens and uh, one pen has two different line types, now you're up to four or five different layers to, to AutoCAD. Um, so a single wall from ARCHICAD on an A wall layer uh, goes out as A wall pen 1, A wall pen 2, A wall pen 3, A wall pen dash 3, um, so you get just uh, all sorts of garbage layers. Um, that might be okay with the consultant. That's I always uh, recommend soliciting a response whenever you send content to a consultant. Ask them if the file worked, uh, just so they're not sitting sitting around stewing on the fact that they've got all these these garbage layers. Um, there are things we can do to uh, fix that. Layers of visible elements only. Um, I don't generally use uh, the conversion tables unless I have a, a a template from the consultant and it's worth the time to go ahead and say these layers go to that layer. Um, it rarely is worth that. Um, same thing with pens and pen conversions. Uh, really the big one is under fills. Um, saving fills as is uh, is important especially with that transparent background. Any of the other ones you're gonna get that masking fill. Uh, don't explode gradient fills. Uh, it's better to send those out and if they get them and don't like them they can delete them. Again, conversion tables can be disregarded, um, and background fills should not be solid hatch. So make sure that those aren't checked. Uh, conversion, uh, hatch conver conversion, again, I don't go through the trouble of converting unless um, we really know exactly what we need uh, on the other end, and it's worth our time, uh, or it's too much work for the consultant to, to handle that. Uh, the last thing in the translators are these custom functions and save extras. Uh, the big one here is make sure that the store original block is unchecked. Um, if that's checked, it's going to re, uh, revert all object elements back to their default settings. So doors, windows, uh, the object tool, um, they're all going to go back to whatever the default setting was for that library part. Uh, we obviously don't want to do that, so we uncheck that. Uh, convert labels uh, to leaders is a good uh, call for saving to AutoCAD. Uh, you save settings and close. Now that's going to be the default for your computer moving forward for this translator. Um, and then we just click save. Uh, and from there, it's good to go. So that's the that's the play-by-play -play on uh, sort of uh, preemptively cleaning up uh, 
model-based views for uh, saving to DWGs. Um, there are a couple of other things. If you wanted, you could search for, uh, do a find and select for, um, for example, if I pull up my find and select palette here and said I want all polylines um, on my, actually, let's say layer name. contains a walls and that's going to get the exterior and interior walls uh, and then I can go up to edit reshape and unify um, and I just have fewer elements now so it, it grabbed all of the the uh, um, polylines on the wall layer and grouped them together so instead of having two polylines here I have one um, so it's just a little bit of a cleanup that you can do uh, anyway, I hope there's some useful information in there and you're able to implement this to get better DWGs out of um, ARCHICAD.